In this morning video, we're going to cover how to build a word cloud in Tableau. This is actually not too bad of a task to do. So particularly when we talk about specifically data prep and acquisition, where do we get this kind of data to build a word cloud? What type of data do we need for a word cloud? I mean, how does a word cloud work? We're going to focus on selecting the proper dimension for a word cloud, customizing the word town, and because it is a word cloud, we're gonna look at fonts and those kind of things. So here we go, let's take a look at this. And we're gonna start off by doing this exercise in Tableau. You see here, I've already had one created. And what I did was I went to get Olympic data and wanted to understand the Olympics and what kind of data, would, I was exploring the data to be quite frank with you. Like how does it work? What is interesting? What is not interesting? So I created this word cloud. Um, I did so by going over here and going to Kaggle and searching for Olympic data. And I got a bunch of Olympic data. And so I found this one site, this one person, Dan and Dio, had a set of data and I downloaded the set of data here. I thought that was quite useful. And I was able to explore the data. I, I took it into Microsoft Excel. I got rid of some blank rows and those kind of things. I could have done this in Tableau data prep as well, or in Tableau directly, but I figured it worked out pretty well. And then I loaded the data, and as you can see, the data came right in, Summer Olympic data. So Summer Olympics only is the athletes, uh, the nation, is the Olympic nations here going on for Summer Olympics, the gender. It had event gender as well. I didn't actually do any gender analysis in this. And then we had medals. So with these groups, I just wanted to play with it to understand. The data. It actually started off in 1896 was the year that they came in with the medal. So it was really early up until recently that they got the data. So it's a good data set. And then I was able to go through and create medals by country and whatnot. So let's take a look about how I created this word cloud for you can create one yourself. The good thing is Tableau comes a long way for this and you're able to do a great thing. So let's go with, with a brand new version of Tableau. Here I have Tableau. There's no shoots, there's no nothing. So let's find data. I have it in Excel. Like I said, I curated the data. I go to my data file, Summer Olympics. I open up the data. I'm like, voila, I have data. Let's go to my sheet one. So you have the data here. It automatically loads it. If there's multiple sheets, you'd have to drag the sheet over to it to desk find which sheet it is. But in this case, they only had one sheet. So sheet one, um, let's rename it, Metals by Country. Okay, I'll go with that. You notice that the title automatically comes in. As mentioned earlier, you know, it's really how you work by dimensions. And you can simply drag dimensions into sport, rows, I'm sorry, sport into rows, and then you get a list of everything. The way it works with Word Cloud as you start to grab information, it works on a list. So if you have repeating words and things like that, those are grid data sets to put into a word cloud. So if you just end up with frequency of words, then what happens is the more words you have, the more frequency it has. So we can expand the data set, but let's just take it slowly, take sport, drag it over text, and voila, we already have a word cloud. But you know, this is pretty detailed, not that significant in this regard. It's not breathtaking or anything like that. So let's have a little bit more interest with this. Um, let's put in the nation, the competing nation. And let's play with a different nation here. I think CHI is China. I think I had RUS being Russia, and United States being United States, USA. So let's see, RUS, and let's pick USA. So you see I'm filtering the data, and now I got metals by country. So we probably should put metals in there, right? And maybe put that under size. Okay, so we got size. Uh, we can maybe add some color. Maybe we'll add the, knock to the color to the, the nations. And now I have color. So if you want to change this palette, you can format the sizes and nations and things like that. Mm 
you can sort them at sizes things like this you can do edit colors you can make it automatic or you can pick you know traffic lighting it, and it definitely changes the colors I don't even know if I like that you can definitely select them yourself in this regard um, let's pick another one here summer colors okay that was interesting but you know you don't really get much definition so let's go ahead and close this we've we, we've done a good job of that um, let's go ahead and put in we've highlighted the countries but we haven't really done is look at the metals let's do metals into size you get it yep I did metals and size okay that's a little bit better so I have metals and size sports and text I have my word cloud so sport is the actual one for the work cloud. Let's go ahead and create a format filter on this. Got everything is 18. That's a little bit better. So it's a word cloud of words, so you're going to want to format your words. Maybe hover over, like, ah, sport, China. Maybe a little bit more into the detail. Let's find out, like, what metal they actually did. So we hover over, we can actually see, oh, look, we got the metal there. That they actually did. So you can put a lot more information. I don't know if I like these countries. Probably could add year. Do we have year? I think we did have year in the data set. You can always go back to your data set and look and see edition was year. Mm, I'm not sure that's going to work. But why don't, we, why don't we go ahead and try? Sometimes let's just put it in detail. So we hide over. I don't like how that years are formatted. It's adding the year if I thought we have to actually deal with that. No average because multiple years doesn't make sense. Let me just remove that. It makes no sense. So not everything comes in clearly. But clearly, but what is clear, if we do have a word cloud, we do see that athletics, China seems to do well. Boxing, I didn't know that. Horsing, equestrian sports, shooting. And then the Russians have done really good in aquatics. This top, top, I don't know what this data set, what athletics mean. I think everything here is athletics. Canoeing and kayaking, they've done well. Maybe we can put count in the detail and it'll count it. Ah, yes, we can get this. And so we can actually understand it. So we, and you can get the actual, right? you can go through it pretty well. But I think this is a good way of doing it. You don't actually know the numbers unless you put it a hovered over. But you can see what some countries are good at and some countries aren't good at in that regard. It's kind of interesting. In that way. I only picked a big, the big three countries we always hear about, but there's many other countries we can actually go through and select through the filter and go in and maybe we can add Australia in there. There's so many great countries to pick and let's put the French in there. As long as you know the code that they have for these countries, you'll be okay. Maybe we'll add, um, let's see if they have it in the data set. Remember, it's always as good as your data set. You want to make sure you pick a good data set. ECU is probably Ecuador, so let's pick a smaller country. Okay. So this one is Australia. They have one. Hit one metal. And you see, it was pretty interesting building this word cloud. You can do different things here. Certainly repeating words and those kind of things add a big part of building a word cloud. But it's not very difficult to do. And you saw how I added a lot of customizations to the word cloud um, pretty quickly in that regard. It looks like the Russians have this whole cycling thing worked out pretty well. The canoe and cycling and fencing. 
and gymnastics clearly is very good at that. Anyway, um, sailing as well. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so that is how you create a word cloud. It was kind of exploring the data, letting the data talk to you, and using the words to jump out at you. It's like, hmm, I wouldn't have thought about these kind of things in that regard. And I certainly mess with the colors and how, how it works for you and do those kind of things. Thank you so much, and remember to subscribe to our learning channel. Have a great day.